Well, tonight, Bay Area lawmakers forced to take shelter as rioters closed in. They are recounting the chaos on Capitol Hill. NBC Bay Area Sergio Quintana has the details. The House will be in order. The House of Representatives back in order following an afternoon of disarray after hundreds of President Trump's supporters breached the nation's capital. Among the rooms that participants freely roamed was the Speaker's own office. As soon as the Capitol was cleared, members of both parties and both chambers of Congress resolved to continue their joint session as a show of unity in the face of chaos. To those who strove to deter us from our responsibility, you have failed. Bay Area Congresswoman Jackie Speer was in the gallery outside the House chamber as rioters forced their way into the Capitol building. It looked like something out of a bad movie. And then a shot rang out. And I'm lying on the floor with a chair in front of me. She says about 10 Capitol Police officers drew their weapons inside the House chamber and aimed them at the door as people tried to force their way in. She and her colleagues were eventually evacuated to a safer area in the Capitol complex. Before the building was stormed, President Donald Trump held a rally just outside the White House for many of his supporters. Members of Congress say that's where he stirred up the crowd that eventually clashed with police and entered the Capitol. We're going to walk down anyone you want, but I think right here we're going to walk down to the Capitol. Bay Area Congressman Jared Huffman says he was alone in his office in a different building when rioters descended on the Rotunda building, as were most members because of COVID-19 protocols. Most staff weren't there either. He lays blame for today's events squarely on the president. When we talk about Donald Trump right now, we need to be talking about him as a traitor and a criminal and someone who should be prosecuted for sedition. Sergio Quintana, NBC, Bay Area News.